Welcome back YouTube, DB Squonks here. Today we're going to be doing a review on another RDA. Today the RDA we are talking about is the Bunker RDA by Asmodus. This is a single coil RDA. We're going to do the same thing we always do. Go down to the table, show you what's inside the package, put a build in it, bring it back up on top, vape on it, give you guys my thoughts. See you guys at the table. Okay, so here we are up close with the Bunker RDA by Asmodus. The color I did receive is gold. You do have your scratch and sniff on the side, or scratch and check, whatever you guys want to call it. Scratch and sniff, same thing. On the back, give you guys a little freeze frame. It just tells you the contents of the package. Uh, it includes one Bunker RDA, two Oni coils, triple fuse Clapton, it says 0.2 ohms each. These coils, and I repeat again, these coils are not 0.2 ohms each. There has been other videos out here um, that reviewers have done trying to build this RDA with the coils provided. They read at a 0.11 each. They do not read 0.2 ohms. And I have tried to build it myself with these coils, and I got the same result, 0.11 each. I will include a clip showing that in this video. Also includes one hex tool, which really isn't correct either because there's two in here. Um, one spare glass window, one squonker center pin. When I received mine, the squonk pin was already installed. I have changed that out already for the studded pin. Includes one spare parts pack and one user manual. And then, of course, it does give you a little warning on the bottom. Go ahead and open this up. Again, user manual, don't really need to go over that. Your spare bag, bunch of spare O-rings, that's your squonk pin. The spare grub screws are also Allen head or hex head, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, that includes two of those Oni coils. And then two Allen keys, not one. The smaller one is for your grub screws, the bigger one is for your 510 pin. And then also they include, there's your spare glass section for the RDA, the spare glass. Of course, if this breaks, which I would kind of find it hard to break because it's it sits in. It's not flush with the top cap, so it kind of sits into the RDA. But on this RDA, you do have dual-sided airflow that is adjustable. There is a locking tab on this RDA, so the barrel doesn't spin freely. It does lock in place. Um, but what you see on one side is the same thing on the other. The only branding on this RDA that's visible when screwed on a device is the Asmodus symbol on both sides. Bottom of the RDA, my camera probably won't pick it up, but it just says Bunker Asmodus. And then you do have your 510 pin. And the 510 pin on this, in my opinion, is not protruding enough to be safe on a hybrid mechanical bond. So again, please do not use this on a hybrid mechanical bond. The pin does not stick out far enough. On the top, you do have an 810, 810 style, I guess you would call it, drip tip. Looks like an 810, but it's not. Uh, you guys can tell the bore on it is nowhere near what the actual diameter is. It's probably like a third. So it's really not, even though it looks like an A10 on the outside, the bore on it is not A10 size. And then this drip tip also uh, has the O-rings on the drip tip. So you can't just use your any regular drip tips that you guys have laying around. You can use the ones that have the O-rings on the stem, but you cannot use the 810s, like Half Moon mods, 810s, anything like that. So go ahead and pop this on a device and show you guys what the build deck looks like. The build deck, um, apparently it's the same as what's on their C4 RDA, I believe. So 
get this top cap off here. Build decks very plain, very simple. Um, you know, you just I'll show you guys how to build it here in a second, but you just put one coil over here or one layer coil over here, one here, and that's it. Um, center up your coil. The airflow on this, even though it looks like a bottom, come on camera, pick that up. There we go. There's a, uh, it looks like a bottom airflow, but it's not. The airflow goes up the actual post and then out the side. So it hits your coils on the side. It is not a bottom airflow. So even though it looks like it, it's not a bottom airflow. So I'll go ahead and pop a coil in this for you guys real quick and show you how to put your coils in and wake it up and we'll bring it back up on top and vape on it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You want to hear the truth? Do you want to know what America is really like? Where the government purposefully pits its citizens against each other because they know that we are stronger together? Where the media falsely portrays the glamour life most of us will never know? Let me explain. Tell me. What happened to neighborly love? What happened to feeling the peace of a dove? The truth is, America was never great. It's time to set the record straight. America is filled with hate. Hey, huh, huh. Stupid tiki torches. Rich white boys who inherited their fortunes. Little whack fascists. Spoiled acting brat kids. Don't condone violence, but I punch a Nazi bastard. Bang. Not just nationalist factions. Racism is systemic and we see it through actions. Masses incarcerated and killed for the color of the skin without a chance for appeal. So tell me, tell me, how would you feel if it happened? to you because for many it's real yes it happens it's true so our prisons are filled yep. fathers brothers daughters with no chance to rebuild it's revealed police are targeting the innocent if you don't see the truth you need to check your white privilege stand up, stand up. it's the time to dissent choose to say nothing and your silence is consent if white people are just now discovering that it's bad for black or working class people in america they're a lot more blind than i thought and they're a lot more choosing to be ignorant than i thought the same problems that we're discussing today, we discussed in 1990, 1980, 1970, and 1960. And until we call a spade a spade and we say that this problem is coming. Okay, so the problem I'm having is these coils are supposed to be oming out at a point two. Let's see if my camera will pick this up here. Maybe, maybe. My coils are actually oming out at a point one one, just like in some other videos that I have seen, um, specifically Kimmy Vapes um, said the same thing. She used one of the Oni, Oni, whatever coils that you want to call it, in her video, and it ohmed out to the exact same. On the the box here, it specifically says two Oni coils, triple fuse clapped in 0.2 ohms each. That is not correct. The coils that they have included read out at a 0.11 each is what I am getting on this coil. Um, so that is not a coil that I specifically want to vape on. Um, on a single coil, I don't want to vape that low, um, especially being that I'm going to use this on the top side. So I'm going to go ahead and switch out these coils and use one of my own. All right, back up top with the Asmodus Bunker RDA sitting on top of the Dofto V. I have a 0.26 ohm build in it. The camera's probably not going to pick it up. Vaping at 8 volts. Here we go. I was wide open, cut it in half. I don't know if you guys can hear that very well, but the more restrictive you make it, the louder it gets. Also, the juice I'm vaping on today is Sudden Death by Bora E Liquids and Shijin Vapor. But what are my thoughts on this RDA? Um, I think it's a piece of shit. 
I'm gonna be honest. I think it's a stupid ass RDA. Um, my pros, the only pros I got on this are the flavor is decent and it's easy as hell to build on. Other than that, I think it sucks. Their attempt at the see-through window section or whatever you want to call it, um, you're supposed, I guess you're supposed to be able to see your cotton and your coils, but as soon as you vape on it, the condensation from the vape makes it impossible to see through it. So to me, I don't know. I think, you know, I mean, I have a lot of cons on this device. That window, stupid. The 510 pin doesn't stick out far enough to use it on a hybrid. So again, please do not use this on a hybrid mechanical mod. Um, the airflow uh, kind of looks like a bottom airflow, but it's not. It comes up to post it and hits your coils from the side. Um, yeah, I don't like anything about it. The drip tip, you cannot use your own drip tip unless it has the O-rings on the stem, which those are coming harder and harder to find. Um, and the drip tip that they included with it, although it looks like an 810, is not an 810. The bore on it is probably about a third of the size of the actual drip tip. Um, yeah, I mean, the whole thing is gold plated. I'm not a fan of gold plating or, you know, uh, any of that stuff. I don't think it's necessary. Um, I don't know. I, I just, I don't know what to really say about this RDA. I just think it sucks. It's loud as hell. If you cut the airflow down, the glass section makes no sense. It's not hybrid safe. The coils that they included say a 0.2 ohm and are not. They're actually a 0.11 each. Um, the fact that you know they don't even give you a, 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 a 810 adapter or an 810 to 510 adapter. Um, yeah, in my opinion, there's way more better single coil RDAs out there. So, there you go, guys. That's my opinion on the Asmodus Bunker RDA. Um, please follow the links in the description to the advocacy groups. Please uh, take time and fill out those forms. That way we can continue to vape whatever flavors we want to and not have to go to tobacco and menthol flavors. So, again, guys, I don't care if you're vaping on a hand-me-down device or something that you guys spent hundreds and thousands on as long as you're not smoking. So, until next time, guys, vape safe and keep it cloudy.